Good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's Common Council meeting, the 26th and final meeting for this year for all of you aldermen. Before we start our meeting, we ask our city clerk to give us a quote for the week. Thank you. Success is a personal standard, reaching for the highest that is in us, becoming all that we can be. Thank you very much. Call the 26th regular meeting of the Common mm -hmm. Council to order. Please call the roll. Boren, Here. Bauk, Here. Gisha, Here. Hannah, Here. Heidemann, Here. Kittleson, Clayunas, Manny, Here. Meyer, Here. Montemayor, Here. Rinfleisch, Here. Ryan, Here. Vanderweel, Here. Verhasselt, Here. and Wangaman. Here. Fifteen present. Quorum is present. At this time, uh, we will recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Alderman Verhassel, would you please lead us? I pledge an allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Alderman Verhasselt. Next item on the agenda is approval of the minutes. President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that we approve the minutes. Second. Motion and second to approve minutes under discussion. There is none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Minutes are approved. Next item on the agenda is a proclamation for Maywood Earth Day celebration. At this time, I would ask uh, Mr. Dirk Zeilman and Mr. Paul Meyer to come forward. Gentlemen, welcome to nice meeting. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Kurt. Good to see you. This proclamation is, uh, is recognizing the uh, 25th anniversary of uh, the Elwood H. May Environmental Trust of Sheboygan County uh, Earth Day. And uh, that's a long time to do this. So congratulations to both of you and the organization. A lot of you may not know, but the, uh, the, uh, the, the park uh, uh, is, is belongs to the city. Maywood Park belongs to the city. Whereas the Elwood H. May Environmental Park Association of Sheboygan County Incorporated and the Environmental Park Trust of Sheboygan County were established in 1983, and whereas the Park Association consists of more than 500 members that provide countless hours of volunteer service, and the trust provides financial support for the park and its facilities and its programs, and whereas Maywood has evolved in the past 25 years from having trails developed a suspension bridge constructed, ponds created for wildlife, wetlands restored, prairies planted, and the William A. Hayson Pavilion built and dedicated, and whereas Sheboygan citizens by the thousands enjoy the park on an annual basis, and whereas Maywood has celebrated Earth Day annually for the past 16 years and provides our community with the opportunity to learn about many aspects of our environment. I, Juan Perez, by the virtue of the authority vested in me as mayor, do hereby extend my personal thanks and congratulations to the Elwood H. Maywood Environmental Trust of Sheboygan County on their celebration of Earth Day and their 25th anniversary on Sunday, April 20, 2008. And I urge our council, as well as all our citizens, to enjoy this day at our beautiful Maywood Park. Gentlemen. Dirk does. <laughs> Do I have 25 minutes? No. Just on behalf of the Maywood Park Association and its over 600 members, uh, we want to thank the city for the support of uh, Sheboygan's Parks. And it's a beautiful place, and it's, a, it's really a joint private-public sector effort where you, of course, support the park and pay for some of the uh, employees out there. But the uh, LH May Trust Association helps raise money we uh, just built a million and a quarter pavilion out there, and as the proclamation said, there are thousands of people that come uh, every year to that park. So on behalf of the association, thank you for your support of that park and all the parks in Sheboygan. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dark, Dirk and, and Paul. Uh, the we have one more recognition, and this is our certificate of recognition for 
Tyler Lamb. Would you please come up, Tyler? We got them all. Now, as, as mayor, I get to do a, a several proclamations and certificates of recognition, but that's not very often that we get to do one for heroism. Uh, we've done one before this year, uh, and this is uh, another one uh, that we're going to be presenting to Tyler uh, for his heroism uh, in saving his little sister's life. Um, I talked to him a little bit earlier. If you look at him now and talk to him earlier, you wouldn't think he's a hero, but folks, he's a hero. Presented to Tyler Lam, in recognition of saving, and we had this written in, in the way that, that the facts were presented to us, so it, it sounds really cool, okay? In recognition of saving your little sister, Madison's life, on March 30th, 2008, while Madison was playing hide the bouncy ball with little brother Nathan, you heard her start to cough and choke. When you realized her airways was obstructed and she could not breathe, you knew exactly what to do. You performed the Heimlich maneuver, and after 15 or 20 tries, the ball popped out of her throat. Your quick response and heroic efforts saved Madison's life. I commend you for your gallant efforts and issue this certificate and affix my seal and signature upon it. Tyler, thank you for your heroism. And this is a little sister. This is a little sister that was saved here. She's with him, standing by his side. So he doesn't feel like saying anything today. So thank you again, Tyler. And moving along, next item on the agenda is a public forum. Madam City Clerk. Uh, yes, we have one this evening, Jody Vanderweel. And Jody, can you give me your home address, please? 1522 North 15th Street. North what? 15th. Okay, and can you put the mic right up to your mouth, Jody, so we can all hear? Is that better? And you'll have five minutes, ma'am. Okay. Um, as soon as Silas made the decision to not run for alderman for a fourth term, I would made the decision to speak at public forum on his final night on the Common Council. I had a speech prepared and was looking forward to saying a few things that were on my mind, opinions that I chose to keep to myself but knew that someday I could voice. However, I then made the decision to run for older person, and I just scrapped the speech I had written. So I'm standing here tonight with a speech that took on a different perspective due to the fact that we will be changing roles tomorrow evening. Of course, the first thing I have to say is thank you to Silas for leadership he has shown to the city of Sheboygan these past six years. Six years. I can't believe that much time has passed. I try to put into perspective the many things that happen in six years. Next month, we will celebrate our 15th anniversary. Therefore, a third of our marriage has consisted of local politics. When Silas ran for alderman, our son Dylan was only nine, and he turned 14 today. Our daughter Carly was three, and we had no idea we would later have our daughter Jaden. I also remember some of the hot issues in Sheboygan and the challenges that Silas faced in making decisions, controversial decisions that couldn't possibly please everyone, and there were many. Decisions that would even bring debate in our own household. For example, the dreaded Sheridan Park issue. Our kids were old enough to understand the gist of what decisions were being made. To say that our household was divided was an understatement. Silas went to one of the meetings, and we were unaware of what his vote would be. The kids and I watched the meeting with anticipation. Silas may have had the citizens of Sheboygan to deal with, but he also had to come home to a house where some <laughs> agreed with his decision and some did not. And this is just one example of the many difficult and controversial decisions that he has made, some of which were made many different times. Of course, there are always those few people who have said that on some issues, Silas voted because he was persuaded to. I know firsthand that his ideas were his own, and his decisions were based on what he truly believed to be the right decision. I, of course, didn't always agree with him. I even threatened to run against him a few times. <laughs> that being said, if I couldn't persuade him to go against his beliefs, who could? Silas knew that he had to wake up each morning and look himself in the mirror and know that he made the decision for what he believed to be right. He had to answer to himself first and foremost. 
I'm proud of what SAILS was able to teach our children over the past six years. They were given the understanding of local government, even though it may have scared them into trying it themselves. It taught them the difficulty of balancing a family and two jobs and still maintaining the idea that the family came first. But most of all, it taught them that with the help of God, they can do anything that they put their minds to. And for that, I say once again, thank you. I look forward to our challenge of role reversal tomorrow. It should be very interesting, to say the least. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Jody. That's it. Thank you very much. Next item on the agenda is a hearing to designate the north side of the 1400 block of Illinois Avenue as a residential permit parking street. Is there anyone here that would like to address the council? Is there anyone that would like to address the council? Is there anyone that would like to address the council? <laughs> there being none, President Hanna. Well, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would move to close the hearing. Second. Motion and second to close hearing under discussion. There is none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Hearing is closed. Next item is a consent agenda 26-1 through 26-38. President Hanna. Well, thank you, Mr. Mayor. <clears throat> I move that all ROs be accepted and placed on file and all RCs be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second to approve the consent agenda under discussion. There is none. Please call the roll. Falk. Aye. Kisha. Aye. Hanna. Aye. Heidemann. Kittleson, Kleinus, Manny, Aye. Meyer, Aye. Montemayor, Rinfleisch, Ryan, Aye. Vanderweel, Aye. Verhasselt, Aye. Wangeman, Aye. and Boren. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Communications and petitions 2639 by Alderman Heidemann from Ernest Kepler requesting that the mayor and the council reappoint and approve the members of the current finance committee to the 2008-09 finance committee as they are the best finance committee the city has ever had. President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd make a motion to file the document. Second. Motion and second to file. Under discussion. There is none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Report of officers two. 2640 through 2645 to be referred. Resolutions introduced three, 2646 by all the persons Hannah, Boren, Clayunas, Bauk, and Gisha, authorizing the issuance and providing for the sale of $3 million general obligation promissory notes and 850,000 tax general obligation refunding bonds. President Hannah. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There is none. Alderman Manning. Thank you, Honor. Um, I have no problem with this. I think we just owe it to the city to educate our citizens a little bit, so I would ask our chair of finance to let citizens know exactly what this represents. President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. This saves the citizens of Sheboygan $81,000. By refinancing. By it's a refinancing uh, action taken by the council, um, and because it's broken down in $3 million and $850,000 from a separate account, it, it normally would have saved $63,000, I believe, but in this case, because of the breaking down, it saves the taxpayers uh, $81,000 to $83,000. Excellent move by the Finance Committee. Any further discussion? There is none. Please call the roll. Yes, sir. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Kleinus. Aye. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Verhasselt. Aye. Wangeman. Aye. Boren. Aye. And Bauk. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2647 by all the persons Hannah, Boren, Kleinus, Gisha, and Bauk authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2008 budget. President Hannah. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. First, I'd like to make a motion to suspend the rules. Second. Is there any objection to suspension? Please explain. Can I clarify? Sure. This, this involves the uh, building fixed uh, position boat docks, uh, which will encourage uh, several boat shows to be here in Sheboygan this summer and also adds to our capacity for transient boating. Very good. 
Is there any objection? If there isn't, uh, need a motion, Alderman Hanna? I would <clears throat> make a motion to, to uh, put this resolution upon his passage. Second. Motion and second to put 2647 upon his passage. Any discussion? There is none. Please call the roll. Hanna? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Kleinus? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. For Hasselt? Wangaman, aye. Boren, aye. Balk, aye. and Gisha. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Report of Committee 52648 to be referred. Report of Committee 62649 by Public Works recommend in filing documents submitting a communication from the Sheboygan County Interfaith Organization requesting a 10 year commitment to use Fountain Park for their farmer's market and approving the request. Alderman Meyer. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There is none. Oh, uh, please call the roll. Heideman? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Cleunas? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Gisha? Aye. And Hannah? Aye. Fifteen ayes. Motion carries. 2650 by finance recommending filing document submitting a communication from Wells Fargo Brokerage Services LLC requesting that the city issue tax exempt debt of approximately half a million dollars to fund a building acquisition for safe harbor of Sheboygan County and approving the request contingent on the recommendation by the redevelopment authority. President Hanna. Well, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, this allows us uh, to extend our ability to issue tax exempt debt uh, through Wells Fargo to Safe Harbor. So Safe Harbor is going to be able to borrow at significantly lower rates. This does not count against our balance sheet. Uh, we are not the guarantor of the debt. It's an obligation of Safe Harbor. Very good. Thank you very much. It, uh, the fact that it does not count against our debt uh, is a, is a, a nice feature of the, uh, the assistance that Safe Harbor got. There is a motion uh, on the floor to accept and adopt. Any further discussion? Alderman Clayness. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, the, is the recommendation from the Redevelopment Authority to, that it is within a, um, what's it called, blighted area? Is that, was that something, it was a re on, on that? Uh, uh, Attorney McLean. Thank you, Your Honor. Alderman Clay, that's, uh, I, I believe the hearing is going to be set for May 8th, okay. uh, March 8th, okay. May 8th. Uh, okay. Need a 20 day notice for that okay. so white that uh, determined. determination hearing. Okay. And uh, there will be, uh, will be time. I don't think the, the schedule has the bonds being issued until later on in May. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alderman Clay, Any further discussion? There being none, please call the roll. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunas? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. For ha I'm sorry, Vanderweel? Aye. For Hasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. And Heidemann? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2651 by law and licensing, recommending denying taxicab driver's license number 7815 based on the applicant's non-appearance and statement that the applicant no longer wants the license. Alderman uh, Wangman. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Just motion and second, under discussion. Uh, is Mr. Stocks present in the chamber tonight? Mr. Stocks is not present. Uh, Thank Your you, Honor. Alderman. Please proceed. Uh, Mr. Stocks had notified Chairman Bourne of our committee that he was no longer interested in obtaining the license and the uh, committee therefore uh, denied the uh, application. Thank, thank you very much. Any further discussion? <coughs> there being none, please call the roll. Clayunas? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wankaman? Aye. Bourne? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah, aye. Heideman, aye. and Kittleson. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 
2652 through 2654 to be referred. Report of Committee 7, 2655 by law and licensing, recommending approval of the application for a change of premise from the Sheboygan Elks Lodge number 299 for an event to be held May 2nd and 3rd, 2008. Alderman Wagaman. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I make a uh, motion that the RC be accepted and adopted. Is there a second? Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. Uh, the uh, Committee of the Elks Lodge is planning an uh, event to be held on their premises on May 2nd and May 3rd. And our, our committee felt that it was a valid request, and therefore we uh, voted to uh, grant their request. Very well. Thank you very much. Any further discussion? There being none, please call the roll. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Vanderwill? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangeman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Ann Clionis? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2656 by law and licensing, recommend an approval of the application for a change of premise from Susha's Super... Super Bar for events to be held May 3rd and 31st, 2008. Alderman Wagman. Thank you, Your Honor. I make a motion the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. Uh, thank you. Uh, Susha's Super Bar uh, requested uh, permission <clears throat> to expand their premises for a uh, event they are sponsoring uh, to include their parking lot. And the committee, after examining their request, uh, voted in favor. Thank you very much. Any further discussion? There is none. Please call the roll. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangeman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunis? Aye. And Manny? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2657 by law and licensing recommending deni denial of the application for a change of premise from Yola's Cantina for an event to be held on March 4th, 2008, based on the history of problems and violations at Yola's Cantina. Alderman Wagman. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I make a motion the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. Uh, under discussion, it, uh, after consultation with the police department and others, we examined their record and it was, it's a, a place that's been causing the uh, police department a lot of trouble, and we, uh, the committee felt we uh, could not, in uh, all good faith, uh, grant their request. Very well. Thank you very much. Any further discussion? <clears throat> there is none. Please call the roll. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangeman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Skisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson, Aye. Clayunis, Aye. Manny, Aye. and Meyer. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2658 by law and licensing recommended no recommendation regarding the application for a Class A intoxicating liquor license for Mad Max convenience store and requesting that this matter be referred to the Committee of the Whole of the New Common Council. Alderman Wagman. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I make a motion the uh, RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. Uh, this is a rather <clears throat> controversial item, and it, the committee felt it best that the uh, entire uh, committee of the whole have an opportunity to discuss it amongst all 16 aldermen. Uh, and therefore, we recommended that it be sent to the committee of would, the whole. Would it then be appropriate to refer it to the committee of the whole instead of accepting and adopting it? You, you want it to go to the committee of whole, right? Yes, yes. I, I think it would be best if you make withdraw the motion to accept it up. And then I withdraw motion. my original motion and make a uh, motion to uh, forward the document to the committee of the whole. I'll second and that. there's a motion and second to uh, refer 2658 to the uh, committee of the whole of the new common council. Thank you. All, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> Thank you very much. That was four in a row there. You did well. <laughs> To be referred, 2659, report of committee 7, I mean 8, 
2660 by finance, recommending authorizing entering into a contract for the fixed boat dock along a portion of the South Sea Wall of the Sheboygan River. President Hanna. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. I would first move that the RC be accepted and adopted and place the resolution upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. <coughs> Under discussion. There being none, please call the roll. Uh, Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Balk? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clyunas? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. And Montemayor? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2661, by finance, recommending authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2008 budget establishing revenue and appropriation for a contribution from AT&T for sponsorship of the Mayor's Twilight Concerts. President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted and that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There is none. Please call the roll. Ryan? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clyunas? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. And Rinfleisch? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Matters laid over 11 RO number 582A0708 by the Chief of Police submitting his recommendation based on the record of investigation to designate the north side of the 1400 block of Illinois Avenue as a residential permit parking street. Alderman Vanderbilt. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the uh, report of officer be accepted and placed on file. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There is none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 2544, resolution number 262708 by all the person Vanderweel approving the recommendation by the Chief of Police establishing as residential permit parking area pursuant to section 118.191 through 118.196 of the Sheboygan Municipal Code, the north side of the 1400 block of Illinois Avenue. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you again, Your Honor. I'll make a motion to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Motion and second, under discussion. There being none, please call the roll. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunas? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. And Ryan? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2545, resolution number 263708, by all the persons Hannah, Boren, Clayunas, Gisha, and Bauk, authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2008 budget, establishing revenue and appropriation for training aides from the state of Wisconsin Office of Justice. President Hannah. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second, under discussion. There is none. Please call the roll. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clyunas? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. And Vanderweel? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2546, resolution number 264708, by all the persons Hannah, Boren, Clyunas, Gisha, and Bauk authorizing waiving the competitive bid process and entering into contracts for police facility furniture, fixtures, and audiovisual equipment. President Hanno. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. Alderman Clayness. <coughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Um, at the finance meeting, we were concerned um, as to whether uh, a local furniture Manufacturer was contacted. Could anyone answer that question, namely Nemshoff Furniture? I will ask, uh, allow uh, President Hanna, would you please respond to that? Thank you. It's my understanding that the uh, police department representative that is conducting that did contact Nemshoff. Okay. 
<coughs> and I'm sure if something's favorable, we'll hear back. Thank you, Thank you President. Next, we have Alderman Rahassel. Thank you, Your Honor. Can I get an explanation? I guess I'm always concerned when we remove the word competitive from the phrase competitive bidding process, but I understand from the second whereas that there's some existing arrangement with the state of Wisconsin. Sure. Could I get an explanation? Absolutely. President Hannah, would you please uh, respond? I appreciate the, the opportunity. Uh, yes, there is a, a negotiated process with the state of Wisconsin that really allows the city of Sheboygan to leverage on the purchasing power of the state. And so there are pre-existing discounts built into this. So it's, it's really not, it's not a risky maneuver by the city at all. It allows us to, to really move quite freely and to enjoy the uh, discounts negotiated by the state. Okay. Does that uh, answer your question, Alderman? Uh, yes, thank you. <clears throat> Next we have Vice President Bourne. Uh, Alderman Hannah pretty well covered what I was going to say. Okay, thank you. Any further discussion? There is none. Please call the roll. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Kleunis? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. And Verhassel? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 20, 2564, resolution number 265A0708. By all the persons born, amending the composition of the City County Shared Services Committee so as to add the mayor and the county board chairperson as voting members. Vice President Bourne. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion? Under discussion, Your Honor. I would like to make a motion uh, to make an amendment or an addition to the uh, resolution, and it reads as follows. Uh, be it further resolved that with passage of this resolution by the council that the resolution be referred directly to the county board chairperson for consideration and possible action. Is there a motion to that amendment? Okay. Making He's making a motion to amend. And I will second. There's a second to, uh, to that amendment. Is there any discussion on the amendment only? There is none. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Now I need a motion to approve as amended. Uh, motion to approve as amended. Second. Motion and second to approve as amended under discussion. There being none, we're going to call the roll. Mm -hmm. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Kleunis? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. And Wangaman? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2552 in RC, RC number 4530708 by Public Protection and Safety, recommending filing documents submitting a communication from Mr. and Mrs. Ramos regarding concerns with parking hazards and issues on Illinois Avenue and establishing it as residential permit parking area, the north side of the 1400 block of Illinois Avenue. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There is none. Please call the roll. Bauk? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Kleunis? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhassel? Aye. Wangeman? Aye. And Boren? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2561, General Ordinance Number 102708, by all the persons Vanderweel, Rinfleisch, Ryan, and Kittleson, relating to establishing a two hour parking zone, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., along the north side of the 1400 block of Illinois Avenue, except for vehicles <laughs> with neighborhood parking permits. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you, Your Honor. I move the General Ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There being none, please call the roll. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Kleunis? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhassel? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. And Bauk? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Other matters authorized by law. Attorney McLean? 
2662 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2008 and June 30, 2009. And that will be referred to the Law and Licensing Committee of the new council. That's it. Thank you very much. President Hanna, you get to do the honors. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, a motion to not only adjourn, but sign and die. Is there a second? Second. There's a second. Any discussion? Does anybody really want to stay here after 35 minutes of conducting business? <laughs> Somebody wants to say, say something, though. Somebody does want to stay. Alderman Rainflash. It's not that I want to stay, Mr. Mayor, but uh, I believe historically we've given an opportunity for the outgoing older persons to say a few words they'd like to. Uh, and I'd like to grant that opportunity if, if they wish to say a few words to the council. There's no need to make a motion or a second. We have outgoing Alderman. Uh, Alderman Mandy, would you like to go first? <laughs> I really don't have much to say. No. It's been a very busy weekend, and I'm overwhelmed, and we have a little party at my place with this body tonight, and after that, and after tomorrow, I catch up a little bit. And uh, I'll be doing other things on Monday evenings, I assure you. But if all meetings went uh, this length, I might have chosen might have to stayed, run yeah. again. <laughs> But that is not the case. So uh, I do thank voters for electing me on three elections. I, uh, I thank all those in the city with whom I've worked. Mar a lot of marvelous people and good attitudes. And I appreciate all of that that people offer consistently. And uh, I've also appreciated working with you on council floor. I think of many other faces that I have seen in these chairs over the years. And that makes the council an ongoing living entity and I will be interested to see how this entity evolves in this next year to come and in the years thereafter. So know that I will be always interested in your work, and I wish you well, and may your conflicts be few. <laughs> Alderman Vanderweel, would you like to? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I didn't prepare anything, but when I started six years ago, I thought, well, at the very least, it'll be a good experience. I may have write a book about it. I didn't think it'd be uh, too exciting, but the last six years was amazing. And um, in the, since I said I wasn't going to run anymore, everybody thanked me for, for doing my best the last six years. And all I can say is thank you for everybody that's been up here, and thank you to the citizens of Sheboygan because... Every day they just show me that Sheboygan is the best place to live and it has the greatest workers and the greatest people. Thank you. Thank you. And, and I'd like to just express my, my appreciation for your hard work, Alderman Matty, Alderman Vanderweel. Uh, it, it's really uh, interesting and, and, and quite remarkable that all of us bring that little certain different element that. Uh, puts a whole package together that's pretty powerful when we all start thinking and analyzing and evaluating certain issues. Uh, we may not all agree at all times, but there's one thing that we agree at all times is we all want what's best for Sheboygan. We just have a different way of going about it. But all of us bring that certain strength, that certain character, that certain little thing, that little plus that makes us all what we are and the good work that we do for the city. Thank you again. And all in favor of adjourning? Aye. Any opposed? We stand adjourned. <laughs>